Hey, uh, Benjamin Bachman here. I've just been going over some things and uh, tweeting with some people today about um, about some different social media issues, and I wanted to share them with you. Um, it seems like businesses these days aren't getting it. They, they, they're marketing has changed in the last couple months in some ways uh, it's just becoming a fast-paced market that changes on a weekly or monthly to weekly basis I mean things are just getting out of control it's like you need to have your own marketing team needs to sit down every Monday at their meeting and say what what is this beast of social media turned into over the weekend you know and how are we gonna respond and what are we gonna do I love Gary Vandercheck says he just put out a, a, a blog you guys should be following if you're not just put out a blog the other day or video blog it was saying you know like get, companies are gonna need to have like their own little ninja teams bigger brands and everything they're gonna go and basically be able to fight off the war as, as it comes in and things change so quickly it can't just become these straight mindset of 101 um, marketing techniques that have always worked because it's just changing so fast. I mean, a couple days ago, he was saying, Gary was saying, you know, Buzz, Google Buzz wasn't even a, didn't even exist, and now all of a sudden it's available as, in this platform, and now we have another whole, uh, you know, marketing platform to be able to give to. But um, so business is changing like crazy. So um, I, I just wanted to know, like, like something that a lot of companies are starting to say, like, why isn't social media working for me? Well, I think bottom line is most businesses don't have a clear cut. Uh, vision on what their passion is they don't actually deliver like remember the old days like when you first started your business up there was so much passion and you like you know like you 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 took out the trash as being the only person that was in your brick and mortar business you know when before you had tons of staff and before all this unfolded you know you you did everything you paid the bills yourself before you could hire an accountant um, all those things like the passion was raw and you were like I believe in what I'm doing and I'm taking a chance and the entrepreneurial spirit was just like raging inside of you so and it seems like the bigger that company gets like that that vision and that passion doesn't exist anymore so I'm like here to challenge like businesses like where's your passion and 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 if you can't even deliver your passion on a regular basis within your brick and mortar business how in the world are you going to communicate that to to the social media platform so here's something else real quick something we've been talking about social media companies now attaching to businesses they saying come in okay we'll come in and we'll do 20 tweets for you a month we'll put 15 tweets or 15 posts out on Facebook and 25 things out on LinkedIn and we'll make two YouTube videos for you and what the heck is all that number one like we just lost a client my business to a company that's promised another restaurant that they were going to do this to them and it was really frustrating because it's not about how many tweets you're going to put out and just so that they look like they belong on that platform it's about the quality and the content and the passion that you deliver as a business owner and and so so the thing that we struggle with is we made mistakes in the beginning by promising companies hey we'll, we'll come in and we'll tweet for you we'll do all this stuff and it just never never worked out because we would be like tweeting their message and all and it just wasn't coming from like the heart from the gut from the soul of that passion that the original business owner had and so it wasn't ringing true. I mean, we could protect their brand and go apologize when something went wrong and such, and we could put messages out about their brick and mortar business, but it was never just stuff that people were looking forward to or people generally thanking for coming through my establishment. You know, like, hey, thanks for showing up today and eating at our restaurant. Thanks for, you know, coming through our business. It was great doing business with you. Like, all those things go so far. It's all about word of mouth and relationship. That's what social media is all about, is just relationship. You can't just treat it as another 101 marketing platform where you just look at statistics and numbers it's all about relationship so uh, I, so we made the mistake of doing that and we've learned now that all we have to do is just basically turn on the light bulbs turn on the light switch just teach businesses how to do the technology come in introduce them to some different couple of tweeting platforms where they're whether they want it to be like something that's kind of organized like Hootsuite where I can post all across all my platforms or if it's just something as simple as echo phone or our or tweet deck or seismic or you know whatever whatever you choose to use um, just basically showing them this platform turning on the light bulbs and then letting them just run with their vision and we're seeing so much more success and business owners are just like man I'm getting so much response people are coming back to my door I'm able to answer their questions ahead of time when they're looking for a part number when they're wanting to know what what food is going to be good tonight at my restaurant whatever so it's just some thoughts food for thoughts love to have the conversation keep going Hit me up on Twitter at Benjamin Bachman and uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts. So have a great day.